guys, it's DisneyFan14, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Kitty Pride or Shadow Cat from the X-Men on the Rainbow Loom, and she is a minifigure, and she is the second in my Marvel collection. The first one was Ant-Man, and there will be more coming. Um, the next one in the minifigures will probably be Mystique. And there will definitely be more, be more after her. And I also have some bigger figure X-Men. So let's get started. The things you'll need. Sorry, I have a band in the loom. Okay, sorry. So the things you'll need is a loom. So I set up in the staggered configuration with your arrow pointed down. A rainbow loom hook or a crochet hook. Today I'm using the metal tip tuck. You're also going to need some dark blue bands. Today I'm actually using jelly dark blue bands. You're going to need some any shade of brown you'd like. I have the browns from the skin tone pack. You're going to need a single red band for her belt. Some skin tone bands. Two black bands for her eyes and some yellow bands for her outfit. You're going to need blue and yellow for her outfit. You could also use jelly yellow and I used jelly, jelly yellow here but I used regular blue here. And today I'm going to be using jelly blue and regular yellow. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a single brown band and put, place it on the first two pegs in the middle section, like that. Now from here on we're going to be using double bands except for cat bands, eyes, hands, feet, and for her belt. So we're going to take two brown bands and go from the left diagonally up into the center and then do the same thing on the right using double brown bands going up into the center like that. Now we're going to go down twice on the left side with double brown bands. Once. And twice. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side using double brown bands. Going once and twice. Like this. Now we're going to take two skin tone bands and go in the middle and go down three times with the skin tone band. So one, two, and three. And make sure you're using double bands here. So now we have most of her face. Now to close off her face, we're going to take two more skin tone bands and go from the center bottom of her face in the center, diagonally up to the left, and then we're going to do the same thing over on the right. So take double skin tone bands and place them in the center going up into the left. I mean the right, sorry. We're going to add on her hair extension and eyes once we've finished with the rest of her body. So now we're going to take two skin tone bands for her neck and place them in the center going down once, like that. Now we're going to be using the blue bands and we're going to go from the center, from her neck down diagonally to the left and then do the same thing on the right, like this. Now we're going to go down once with the yellow in the middle and we're going to start to form the inside of her outfit. So and then we're going with double yellow bands we're going to go down two more times in the center like that and then on the right on the left and right sides we're going to be using double blue bands and we're going to go down three times as well on each side. One, two, this band is very thin, so I'm not going to 
Okay, one, two, and three on the left side, and then one, two, and three on the right side. So now you should have something that looks like this with three blue on the left and right, and then three blue, three yellow, sorry, in the middle, and that should be all double bands. And then on the sides, you should have double blue bands. Now we've formed her body. Now we're going to be doing her legs. For her legs, we're going to take double blue bands. Let me move over a little bit because the, my loom is kind of not in the camera. Okay. So now we're going to take double blue bands and go down once in the left, once on the left, and once on the right. We're not going to do anything in the middle this time, because otherwise she would have three feet, which is not not right. So those are her legs, and now for her feet, we're going to take a single yellow band and wrap it around this peg on the left, the last peg we place bands on, which is the bottom of her leg, and wrap it around that peg three times. Like this. Then do the same thing on the right side, taking a single yellow band and wrapping it, wrapping it around this peg on the bottom right. Like that. And do that, wrap it around three times on each. Now for our arms, we're going to take our hook and take a single yellow band. It's the same thing as the legs, except we are not like placing it on the loom. We're going to do it on our hook. So take the yellow band and wrap it around the tip of your hook three times, like this. And then take two bands, two blue bands, put it on the tip of your hook and put the other end on your finger. And then slide all three loops of the yellow onto, sorry my hand's in the way, onto the blue um, band. And then slide the, the two blue ends that are on your finger back onto your hook, like this. Now take your arm in your hand. A good tip is to like open it up and then stick your finger inside so you know which bands go on which side. And then starting on the left, we're just going to place that on the left side, right here where her shoulder would be. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Let's take a single yellow band, wrap it around your hook three times, and take double blue bands, put them on the tip of your hook, slide the three yellow loops onto your hook, like that, and repeat the process, and just put those bands on, like that. Now, here's just what she looks like right now. We have her body done, and now we're going to add on the cap bands, her hair extensions, and her eyes. So we're going to take a single blue band, and we're going to put it on, make a triangle on these throttle not throttom, bottom three pegs, like this. And now we're going to take this bottom loop and bring it up and over onto the peg above it, like this. Now we're going to take another blue band and make another triangle on the three pegs above that. But this time, don't take the bottom loop up. Just leave it as a triangle. Then we're going to do the same thing on the peg above that. And now we have completed her body. Now, for her face, we're going to start with the eyes. So just push down the two bands, the, I mean the four bands, on these two pegs, which are um, across from each other. So just push them down to the bottom. Now you're going to take your two black bands, but only one right now, and wrap it around the tip of your hook 
three times like we did for the foot and the arm, or the foot and the hand, actually. And then you have something that looks like this. And then do the same thing with the other black band. Just push these down t towards the bottom of the tip of your hook. And then, like that. Wrap, it, wrap that one around your hook three times as well. And now we're going to take a skin tone band and put it on the tip of your hook like we did for the blue part on her arms, except we're only using one band right now. And then slide all six loops. You could do the three at a, three at a time, or one at a time, or you could do all three at a time, all six at a time, I mean. But make sure you have all of the black loops. And then have the other loop on your finger, and we're going to place one end on the peg on the on one of the pegs that I told you to push down the brown bands on and then put the other side that was on your hook on the side on the peg diagonal from I'm not diagonal sorry the one horizontal from that so now you should have something that looks like this your eyes might be a little squished so just use your fingers or your hook just to separate them so they look like eyes and then this is a cap band, so we're going to make it look like all the other triangle bands. And to do that, we're going to take the top loop of that and bring it up onto this peg. So it looks like that. Now for our hair extensions, we're going to be adding on three loops and a cap band. So to do that, we're going to take a single brown band to start with and wrap it around your hook three times like we did for the um, eyes and the hands and then take double brown bands put them on the tip of your hook slide the three loops onto the onto the brown bands then bring those bands back onto your hook so now you should have sort of like what you did for the arm but now we're going to add on more loops and to do that we're going to take two more brown bands put them on the tip of our hook and slide those, all those bands onto our hook and then bring the other end back on your hook. And now you can count and say, well, I have one, two on there and a cap band. So now we're going to do that one more time and take two more and slide them on like this. Now we're going to place that on the left side on the bottom, sort of where her chin would be, but like, not her chin, her chin's here. Like, the side of her face, that area. So to do that, it's going to be like the same what we did for her arm. So just take it to, bring it to the tip of your hook, stick your finger in, and then just pop it right on. Now I'm going to do that one more time, and I'm not going to um, explain how to do it. If you need help, then just rewind and rewatch the part where I did the other one. One, two, and three. And then slide that onto the side horizontal from where we placed the other one. So now just like move that to where you want it to be. And now this is what she should look like. So now we're going to start looming. We're going to add her belt on at the very end. So to start looming, we're going to start with her left foot. And we're going to take our hook, stick it into this peg, pull back the yellow cap bands, cap band, grab the bottom two blue bands, bring them up and over onto the peg above, and then go through the cap band, Grab the two bottom blue bands, bring them up and over, and repeat that process going through the cap band and finding the bottom two blue bands and bringing them up. Do that until you reach the shoulder, and then actually now we can um, hook or loom the shoulder band. So to do that, stick your hook all the way down and you can use like a side view to help you and make sure you're grabbing the right band and you're not grabbing anything in her arm 
and then grab those two bottom bands and bring them up and into the center where her neck is. Now we're going to do the left side. So repeat that process, going in, grabbing the bottom two bands, and then keep going up, going through the horizontal band, and then looming the shoulder band. So now we're going to loom the middle, but first I'm just going to show you guys what it should look like. And you just have like a frame of her body right now. Now we're going to loom the middle, and the middle is the easiest because there are no cap bands to go through. So just grab those, um, the bottom two, well the only two yellow bands on the peg. Grab them and bring them up, and then repeat that up to where her neck is. Now your body should look like this. Now we're going to loom her neck. This is a hard part and an easy part. It's a hard part because there's a lot of bands on this peg. And the easy part is that it's skin colored. So you'll know you'll gra you would gra you know you're grabbing the right bands if you only have two skin tone bands on your hook. If you have a yellow band, then you know you made a mistake. Or if you have a blue band, you know you made a mistake. So now, take your hook and just go straight down into that peg. And then I like to use my finger and go into the, let me show you closer. Go into the neck bands and then like kind of use my fingers to put the bands onto my hook. And then grab those two, bring them up and onto, up and over onto the peg above it. Now for her face, it's pretty simple. For her chin, just grab the top two bands, and it should go to the right first, then to the left, then the last two bands should go to the center, and then with the center, just loom th up, loom up three times. Do, don't do the single band. So just from here, do the right side, then the left side, then all the way up to the center, except for the single band. Now on the left side, same thing like what we did for the neck and the arms. You could either use your finger to bring the bands onto your hook, or you can use a side view. I'm just going to use my fingers. So just grab those bottom two, bring them up, and then go through the eye band. Grab those bottom two brown bands, bring them up, and then just grab the only two brown bands on the left side and just bring them into the center. You can push down your bands just to make sure that nothing's gonna fall off. So now you should have something that looks like this. And now we're going to do the right side of her face. I'm just repeating the process of grabbing the bottom two bands, bringing them up and over, pushing back the cap band, grabbing the bottom two bands, bringing them up and over, and then grabbing the only two brown bands and bring them up and into the center. So now her face and body should look like this. Now we're going to go in the top peg and grab the single, the single band, single brown band here. So again, using the same method we did for the hair and for the arms, you can use your finger or you can Use a side view, and just make sure you're grabbing one band, not two this time. And then bring it up and over onto the peg, the very top peg. Now we're going to take our hook and grab the bottom loop of the two, bring it over the top peg, and then let it go. Now we're going to t gra grab that top band and tighten it, it will pull it, and now you have a slip knot, and then just for safekeeping, just put it back onto the top peg. Now just take, you can just use your fingers and pull off, pull her off, or you can use your hook and pull her off. Just pull her off.
now she's going to look a little twisted and weird. And that's why we're going to like stretch her out and position her in whatever way you want her to look like. So just go ahead and do that now. Pop out her eyes a little bit. Make sure your slip knot is nice and tight. And then if you want to hang her, and there you go. But if you want to hide the slip knot, then take your hook and stick it in the back of her head in any spot where her hair is actually so it blends in. Then grab that slip band, slip knot, and pull it through. And for her hair, you'll have these two skin tone bands coming out on the side. So just stick those, grab it, and put it in the back of her head and pull her hair extensions through just to make her hair extensions more visible. Now you can take your red band and then just slide it on. And there you go. So here she is. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out Ant-Man and, and stay tuned for Mystique and more Marvel figures. So again, thanks for watching. Um, bye!